In this video, we're going to take a image like a profile image or really it could be any image and we're going to create a, a circle effect around this. So essentially, we're going to turn this image into a circular shape. And this is quite a popular uh, web design trend now. So the first thing we want to do really is just pull an image in just so we can play around with something. Uh, I've got an image directory here with a profile, uh, an example profile picture inside. I've also got a main.css style sheet linked in here. Uh, so go ahead and do this if you haven't already, if you want to follow along. So let's go ahead and put this image on the page. So let's grab this profile.png. And let's head over to the browser and just check this. Cool, so we've got the image up here. So there's a property in CSS called border radius, which is quite widely supported now. And uh, we don't really need to use vendor prefixes. I'm gonna be demonstrating this without vendor prefixes. So what we need to do is look at the reusability of this effect. So rather than applying it to a specific image, we want to create a circle class that basically allows us to apply this to any image and in fact really any element that we want. So let's give this a class first and then we'll look at the styling the class in a minute. So I'm going to say class of circle. So what we can do is as long as we've got a style sheet linked in we can head over here and we can say circle and we can start adding properties to this. Now we're going to add the border radius property. Now let's just give this a radius of say 10 pixels and see what happens here. You can see that the edges have been curved round, quite a nice effect in itself, but we are after a circular effect. Now to get a circle, what we need to do is we need to adjust the border radius to the point where it's half of the width or higher than half of the width. So at the moment we've got a width of 220, a natural width of 220 on this image. So let's go ahead and add 110 pixels. And there we go, we get our circle effect done. Now, this isn't actually a great solution because what happens is if the image in question is larger than say 220 pixels, we then won't have a circular effect. Now what we can do instead is provide a 50% option and then that will always give us a full circular effect. We don't need to mess around with values. However large this image gets or however small it gets, the border radius will always be at 50%. Now you might also want to include classes like radius with just uh, say a border radius of 30 pixels anyway and this would just be for images that you want to display just with a slightly curved corner. But anyway that's how we create a circular effect with CSS.